It's 87 degrees out. Uh, I am in a suit in Queens with a tote bag uh, here to deliver comments on New York's greenhouse gas reporting rule. If that sounds boring, you're wrong. It's actually very interesting and I'm gonna tell you why. But before we get into the reporting rule, we need to take a step back and talk about cap and invest. And the way that cap and invest works is a permitting system. Basically, the New York state government supplies a certain number of permits to produce greenhouse gases every year. If a company wants to, for example, emit 50 tons of carbon dioxide in a given year. They need to buy a number of permits equivalent to 50 tons of carbon dioxide. The trick is the number of permits declines every year. And when they do that, there are companies competing more for fewer permits. That's all revenue that goes to the state that the state can then reinvest. But in order to build the cap and invest program, we first need to know how much greenhouse gas pollution our companies in New York producing every year. This real like, meat and potatoes, elbow grease, hard work of eliminating carbon pollution and alleviating the climate crisis that we're talking about here. Sorry, it got way too sunny, I had to move. Anyway, the fact that we don't even know where all of the carbon pollution is coming from in New York just on its face is ridiculous. And just to be really clear about the benefits of Cap and Invest here, we're talking billions of dollars in revenue raised through these permit auctions every year. Money that will be invested in building EV chargers on city streets. This is money that will meaningfully go to rebates against people's energy bills. And we know those are high right now. This is really badly needed revenue. And the state needs to implement a cap and invest program now in order to get us there. 